Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the nearby nation, welcome back to another Technic tutorial. And this tutorial will be going over the turret mod, and the turrets are like this. Okay, so first we're going to start out making the books itself. I just showed you a little teaser. Teaser, teaser. I'm just kidding. Uh, so how you make the books themselves, which is what you're going to need to know exactly how to make everything. You just put ink sack, a book, and a dispenser. It does. I don't think it doesn't have to matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter which slot you put it in. Just in that vicinity, those three items. And then you get a turret book. We're going to need another turret book, though. So we can go ahead and do that. And get another turret book. Put that up there. With the Pezzazul, again, it doesn't matter where it goes. But And then we get the turret item book. So we have the turret book and the turret item book. Now what the turret book does is it shows you how to make every single turret. And there are exactly... Uh, five, six, seven, well, seven turrets, then you have the defense bot, and then you have the control. But, uh, okay, let's go ahead and start with the first turret. The first turret, the weakest, cheap, and the cheapest turret is called the turret T1. It consumes arrows, it's got four HP, it's got, or actually 20 HP, it's got four hit points, um, two hearts, mm, max ammo is 256, shoots per ammo, one, shoots per second it's basically a whole bunch of uh, statistics on what it can do it's healing items you put cobblestone to it and it'll heal itself or you heal it with that range nine blocks uh, max shoots 256 and you can upgrade it with a saddle or a chest to the side so let's go ahead and make that now, as you can see right here I already have the stuff to make it it goes in that exact order so right here this and this and we have the defense turret one so you throw the turret down wherever you want and again it takes arrows so come over here I have some arrows just gonna half them and uh, you just right click on it and you can see right there the arrows go up on it pretty awesome eh right there the HP is already up so if I come right in front of it and then I say spawn zombie one hmm spawn Zombie. Okay, not gonna do it. Specified NPC. Oh, I know why. Da da da. There we go. Spawn zombie one. It goes ahead and starts attacking the zombie. Just like that. Boom. Achievement get surprised. So there we go. And use some ammo as well. You come over here to the right chest right here we got saddles I can go ahead and put a saddle on the thing now you can't ride it yet because you haven't made the tool to ride it so let's go ahead and make that first because it will also help along the way in making everything else and it's called a turret control unit now to make a turret control unit you put iron all the way around it in a U shape with redstone and a stick so we come over here stick redstone iron turret control unit now what this does is it allows me to see and set stuff. So like I have a T1 turret, I can actually set it on animals, set it on players. So if I set it on players, see it'll start attacking me. Yay! Oh, I don't know why you want to do that unless maybe you were in SMP. So let's take that off of players. It also has the cool turret sounds. And as well, since we put the saddle on there, you can't actually see the saddle, but when you right click it, I can actually control it. Now you you think, okay, my mouse, I can move, it's really glitchy with the mouse, you actually have to move it around with your control stick. Uh, now I believe you actually have to have, okay, so I think it shoots itself. I haven't tried this yet, so let me go ahead and set the T1 to animals. And let me do spawn pig one. And then I saddle on. Maybe it's, I think it's out of ammo. Yeah, it's all the way out of ammo. It's trying to click, but it's... Okay, so... Oh, yeah. You press space, and you can shoot. There you go. That's how you do that. So you can get on any turret, I believe, and shoot. So there's the T1. So let's go for the T2. T2, you just need stone, cobble, right there, dispenser, 
and cobble. And you got the deference, the head deference, the turret T2. So if we set this down, the turret D2, T2, um, my words are all messed up. It shoots bullets, which you need to make turret bullets out of. It's got 7 HP, it gives you 3 hearts with 20 hearts. It gets kills two, 3 hearts, I believe. Yeah, defense, it takes 3 hearts away, but it has 20 hearts. Uh, block of iron is healing it. It shoots 3 per time. It shoots per second 4.0. And it shoots the ammo 256 at, uh, it can fill in a chest. Max shoots 768. So, we come over here to my bullets. This is how you make bullets. You got flint, gunpowder, flint. So let's take some bullets out and I fill this baby up. I really didn't fill up, but still. Now I come over here and say spawn creeper. As you can see, it sounds like a gun cannon, but it shoots itself off. So if I come way back here and uh, let's turn... Let's turn the T2 off of mobs completely. Can we do that at all? Yeah, there we go. Turn it off of all that and say spawn pig 20 or 10. Let's do 10. Okay, so now it just spawned a whole bunch of pigs. So if I put a saddle on this thing and want to have some fun, come over here to the saddles, throw a saddle on it, grab it, and now I can accurately shoot a pig. Any pig. I think the uh, controls would have been a lot easier if you could uh, control it. There it goes. There it goes. Control it with your mouse, but you can't really do that, as you can see. It's all by... and it goes in adjustments, so... Oh. But that's basically the functionality of that. Now the next turret would be the T3. You need diamond, obsidian, and iron blocks. So come over here. We get the iron blocks. Or actually, my bad. Iron blocks, obsidian, diamond, dispenser, T3. Let's throw the T3 down and see what it does. Now the T3, as suggested within here, requires redstone to shoot because it shoots lasers. So we're going to have to go get some redstone. Which I handed dandily put in a chest for us. And I'm only going to give it half of the redstone. Actually, I have to go back in the chest to set it up, but still. I'll give it half the redstone. So I put that right there. It's got half of my redstone. As you can see, it's powered up. And if I go in here to the T3 and set it to animals. Let me get a pig by me. Come here, piggy. Come here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Slaughter the pig. So that thing's really fat. Whoa. It killed that pig over there too. One hit kill. So if we look in here on T3, it, again, seven hearts at one time. Forty hearts is what it has. It takes obsidian to heal. One max shot. Four shots per second. Yeah, four shots per second. And it can be upgraded with shadows or chests. Saddles or chests. Now if we take uh, some chest and put right beside it, we can actually put the redstone in there, I believe, and then once it gets out, so let's go over here and do spawn, let's see it spawn a whole bunch, or slaughter a whole bunch of pigs. It's pretty much doing its job, look at that, it took them all out. And again, right there, it just gave more space. It just loaded more in there. So it's a good way to keep the turret going when you're not around and you can't force feed it. So let's come over here to the next one. Throw some snow up here. And right there, and we get the slow turret. Now we can go ahead and throw the slow turret down. And as read within here, the slow turret has kills nothing. It doesn't actually kill at all. It has 20 HP or 10 hearts. 1.5 seconds. A turret out of snow. The same health as the T1 turret. Shoots snowballs and slow targets down without damage. So it's basically slowing like creepers down so they don't chase you as far. You can't do anything with it. You can't add anything to it. It 
takes snowballs to fire, so I don't actually have snowballs, but we should be able to find snowballs right there. 16 at a time, so you can't even... You can only load it with 16. Uh, I, bet you, I bet you could load it with a lot more, but you actually have to have that in, Yeah, you just have to have that in, in your inventory. So if I set the T... Uh, the slow turret up to kill animals, or hit animals, and then I spawn pig too. It's just gonna throw a snowball at it and slow it down. Yeah. Not really nothing. It's not even worth making a... a okay, that was that <laughs> helping out a little bit, are we? <laughs> Another turret decided to shoot in. I think it was the laser turret over there. The T3. Alright, so next would be the sniper turret. Now the sniper turret takes Lopez Lazul, it takes a high-tech module to make, nether rack, an iron block, a dispenser, and two stone bricks. Now in order to make a high-tech module, you need an ender pearl, three gold, a redstone, redstone, and a diamond. That's exactly how you make a high-tech module. So if we come over here, we actually have it right there in our inventory. So we're going to put the dispenser in the middle, high-tech module, iron block, and there we go. We got the sniper turret. Now let's just go ahead and throw it over here so we're not turreting everything up. And if you can see right in here, a sniper turret again takes L Lopez Lazul to kill. It shoots very slowly and has weak health. It shoots plasma, but it shoots up to, let's see, 50 block range. So it could probably take out that scorpion over there. I don't know. Let's see. Let me get Lopez Lazul to see. Not Coco. There we go. Fill this up. And it should be set off of... Okay, let's just set it on animals. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Decided to take out a cub. Okay, so... Spawn pig 10. Now it's gonna slowly take out very slowly take out the pigs. One hit kill, but it goes up to 50 blocks, so it is good if, say, you put it on top of a house and need to kill a lot of stuff. Again, if you go into the turret mod, this is all self-explanatory. Uh, you can put a saddle on it, you can put a chest on it, so say I come over here and get a saddle out of here. Throw the saddle on it. Use this. It's got to load up. Then you shoot. Oh, actually, it lets you shoot a lot faster. Hmm, when you're on it. So it doesn't actually have to sit there and wait, but it doesn't move the turret either. That's as far as I can move it back and forth. Hmm. A little strange, but that's how you make the sniper turret. Now, the flak turret is the one that actually shoots rockets, and it's made with a high tech module, a dispenser. Some nether stone, or nether brick, I mean, and a uh, stone brick. So put the nether brick down, the stone brick, that, and that, and we got the flak turret. Now we throw the flak turret down, say, hmm, over here. It's gonna take the rockets, which in order to make the rockets, you gotta use four iron, a redstone, gunpowder, and coal. All this stuff is really easy to make within the uh, Technic Pack because, of course, the uh, Philosopher's Stone gives you options to make almost everything. So we put that in there. And it's loaded all of those up. Now let's come over here. Get a saddle. Throw the saddle on there, why not? Let's go over the specs of this thing. The flak turret, or flak rockets, yeah, flak turret, uh, kills 20 hearts. I think it already took one out. Oh, the pony! The pony! Oh. Good thing it's not set to mobs. Oh! <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay, so let's set this flak turret to mobs. Oh. Oh yeah, my bad. It only does flying. Totally forgot. So you'd have to spawn a ghast. So this is good for the nether, actually. So we can actually spawn a ghast to show this thing off. So let me get over here and say spawn ghast 2. Now it's going to shoot the gas. Maybe. Come on, shoot it. It's got very bad aim. Let's 
as soon as it stops shooting. All right, now I forgot to show you this. If you left click, it actually shows the amount of ammo it has. Uh, you can dismantle the turret and get the items back. I'm not sure exactly how that works. So let's go ahead and try that over here. So if I dismantle this turret, okay, maybe you don't get the items back. Yeah, you, oh yeah, you do. I get two slow turrets for that? That's weird. Let's dismantle this. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it gives you your turret back so you can move it wherever you want. So that's pretty interesting. Now the last thing we're going to make is actually the, my bad, the defense turret bot, the, no, the defense bot, which I already made in my Technic pack. And this is how you basically make it. You need obsidian, stick, and redstone. You're going to need two of these plus four of these to make this bot chassis. So basically you need six redstone, six sticks, and six obsidian to make this. And we're also going to need one of these sticks, but you need four of these sticks, bot sticks, a bot chassis, and then of course you're going to need four smooth stone, a soul sand, dispenser, redstone, and a diamond to make the bot head. Come over here, put the bot head up top, chassis in the middle, and then the bot sticks on the side, and you have a defense bot. Now the defense bot, you just place anywhere, and it's going to follow you around. It's like a little pet. Now, in order to feed it uh, ammo, you're going to have to give it cactus. So, I don't want to give it all this cactus. Because then it would just be needy. So, let's give it half the cactus. So, there on the back, you can see that its ammo went up. So, now it's actually going to defend. Now, again, with this right here, you can do defense bot and set it to go against animals, too. Or set it to hit other defense bots. All others. Anything. Pretty much anything. So we got bears over here. So if I come over here, as you can see, hit the bear, will ya? See, now it's gonna shoot the bear. And it just killed a bear successfully. So it's basically like a little friend. And you can have as many as you want, I believe. Yeah. So I got a lot of friends tracking me down all around. None of them have ammo except for that one, but they're still looking cool. Oh, I guess they come... No, they don't come preloaded with ammo. Huh. <laughs> One's being carried off, and... Nice. It's hilarious. Birds over here. They're all trying to shoot. You can hear them. They don't have uh, ammo. But yeah, that's how you make a defense bot. So that's pretty much, I believe, it. With uh, this mod. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.